we're chatting today with uh, Dr. James Abde, Assistant Professorial Lecturer of Statistics at the London School of Economics and Political Science, uh, also Associate Academic Director uh, of the University of London programs at LSE, uh, one of the pioneers of the data science programs at LSE, and very happy to say in the coming academic session, uh, a visiting lecturer at ISPF. So, welcome to ISPF and, and to Delhi, James. That's again. It's, it's welcome back, isn't welcome it? Really? Back. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be back. Thank you so much. Uh, so, could you start, James, by telling us uh, a little bit about the field of data science and what makes it such an exciting area today? Very good question. So, data science, um, well, when I think of science, I think of a scientist. Mm -hmm. And a scientist is all about you know, exploring and discovering uh, and trying to have a better understanding of the world uh, around us. Mm -hmm. Of course, a data scientist is trying to do exactly that, but not with a laboratory, but looking through data, mining data, right. looking for those hidden trends, patterns, relationships, and having um, explored and hopefully discovered, allowing us to make uh, data driven decisions, which tend to be a better decisions than those taken uh, sort of from a more uh, purely qualitative uh, perspective. Right. Super. Uh, so if I'm a student uh, who's completing an undergraduate program just now or has just completed one and I'm looking at postgraduate study in data science, uh, what would your advice be and uh, how do I know if, if you know, I'm kind of cut out for it? Uh, well, it's quite common that, of course, during an undergraduate degree, you have a particular major mm -hmm. and um, having completed that, you feel that it's better to have you a, a broader uh, skill set as well as a deep skill set. Mm -hmm. And it's entirely rational, uh, having completed an undergraduate degree, to then uh, pursue further studies in perhaps a slightly different field. Mm -hmm. Now, if a prospective student has no direct experience with data science, that, that's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone can become a data scientist, as long as they are prepared to put in uh, the, the, the time and effort to uh, learn the material. Right. But uh, even if someone felt they were not from a very technical uh, background, mm -hmm. I wouldn't uh, say that that uh, represents or should represent a barrier at all. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh, but would you say that the quantitative uh, disciplines would have any sort of edge or do you think that's very short-lived? Well, inevitably other things equal, it's better uh. to have some quantitative uh, background. Uh, indeed, we have a small sort of quantitative requirement as mm -hmm. part of the admissions process mm -hmm. because inevitably data science by its very nature uh, is, is a quantitative uh, area. Right. Uh, however, mm -hmm. if people are trying to reskill or upskill, mm -hmm. uh, then of course they should embrace these challenges. If you don't know something, that doesn't mean you should never yeah. um, try and uh, uh, pick it up. Yeah. So they should really embrace that challenge and indeed you know, anyone can do it if they are willing to apply themselves. Right. Could you speak uh, a little bit uh, specifically about the graduate diploma in data science which LSE has designed and which we are offering at ISPF yeah. and also a little bit about your role as visiting lecturer for that program? Indeed. So uh, the graduate diplomas have been designed uh, very much for you know, the graduate in mind that they have got a degree in a different area mm -hmm. and appreciate that the ever-changing labour market that we face today and will continue to face in the years ahead uh, demand uh, a continually updated skill set. Uh, and there aren't really many uh, undergraduate programs in the fields of data science. So graduates are graduates in other areas. So this is very much designed for those um, uh, graduates uh, in, uh, in mind. Uh, and therefore, with it, uh, they would take uh, four courses uh, over the year uh, with the excellent uh, local uh, ISBF faculty, uh, with me uh, coming out on these sort of flying uh, visits so I get to interact directly uh, with the students and sort of share um, uh, my take uh, on, on the subject matter. Looking forward to that. Me too. <laughs> uh, now, there are so many, uh, if one does a you know quick Google search, there are so many short online mm -hmm. software oriented uh, data science courses out there today. Uh, what would you say makes the, the graduate diploma in data science special or what makes it stand out? And you know, as a student again, as a prospective student, uh, is it worth the inevitable extra money that a full-time one-year-long program would cost compared with the short online ones? Sure. I mean, inevitably with a, a one-year graduate diploma, there is uh, an opportunity cost of doing so, the time and money of putting it in. But, you know, whenever there's a cost, there's always some offsetting benefit. And, you know, uh, I think one should always do these decision makings as a sort of cost-benefit uh, analysis and one has to decide themselves whether the benefit justifies the cost. Uh, of course, I'm going to be biased in my response here, uh, but having uh, a formal qualification, you know, University of London issued, uh, that uh, carries a strong reputation. If you're just doing some, you're dabbling in some um, teaching yourself through some 
basic online course, uh, where is the formal recognition that an employer um, would, would have any confidence uh, in. And presumably, upon completion of a graduate diploma, um, if those graduates are then wanting to get uh, jobs and they're going to be entering a competitive uh, field. So anything which gives you a competitive edge, I think, can, can only be uh, a good thing. Also, data science today seems to be cutting across in terms of its applications, cutting across uh, industry verticals and sectors, you know, from healthcare and public policy to economics, finance, management. Would you say it's a, it's a it's becoming a bit of a necessary skill in the toolkit of a future graduate? Uh, undoubtedly, I mean, I think the uh, the workplace of the future is going to become ever more data driven, and we shouldn't be restricted to any one uh, sector. Um, of course, students themselves may have particular interests in a field, maybe finance, or commerce, even a public sector. Uh, but I mean, uh, opportunities are, uh, abound. So, indeed, data science it's really a, offers a set of tools which can be applied across your, in any area where we find data, which is pretty much everywhere around us. Sorry. Okay, well, picking up from there, a uh, final question uh, for, for this child. Uh, what would you say are the primary career prospects that one can look forward to after the graduate diploma in data science? Uh, straight off the block, that is. So if mm -hmm. post an undergrad, if one were to do the graduate diploma, uh, what are the areas of work one can look forward to? Uh, and also, uh, in terms of higher studies, say in the UK, uh, what kind of programs can one progress to? Uh, I would say, well, perhaps I'll answer in reverse. So uh -huh. with regards to like um, uh, uh, master's programs, um, I think these would offer an excellent skill background set of qualifications, so their original bachelor's degree, then the graduate diploma, um, that University of London award is world um, recognised and would place a, a master's applicant's um, application in very uh, strong uh, standing. Of course it's competitive entry as all of these things are, but of course you're looking for those things giving you that competitive edge and having you know, every confidence that you other things equal, better to have that graduate diploma than not more likely to secure that place. With regards to uh, jobs, well, the labour market is ever-changing. Uh, you're the, the classical you're data scientist, and I would actually encourage any prospective students to you know, do your own research, go to some uh, jobs uh, board that you're familiar with, and just do a quick search of keywords like data uh, scientist, data analyst, and see what results uh, pop up. And I think anyone who does this would be pleasantly surprised at not just the number of roles, but also the variety of roles and sectors and that that could be in. So um, uh, it's, it's an evolving field, and yep. maybe the job titles that people will have in five, ten years' time don't yet exist because the world is, is, is ever changing. Uh, but if we can have extreme confidence that the demand for people with um, data scientific skills uh, is, is going to be there for you know, for the you know, decades ahead. Super. That was all for today. Thank you very much for your time. It's a pleasure as always.